welcome back guys so today we learn about data types of python so first of all i just start the python powershell python keyword to start the python here we have a python prompt so now we start from the data types first of all i just want to talk about integer so what is integer integer is just a number let me show you here i am taking a variable age is equal to i am assigning a value age is 15 so we have assigned a value for a variable now i just want to check which type of variable is this type age here we have it is showing the data type of variable is integer here we have a integer so now we can how we can use the integer in powershell or oh sorry in python so uh, we can use this integer with operators like plus minus divide and modulus so now i just want to start with like uh, i have a age 1 is equals to 15 and age 2 is equals to 51 here we have now i want age 3 should be the sum of age 1 plus age 2 here we have so now i just want to check the value of age 3 this is the 66 this is the plus of age 1 and age 2 now i want to subtract the value of age 1 minus age 2 here we have a value minus 36 what about the multiply multiplies should be the asterisk sign age 2 765 now i just want to divide by age 2 to age 1 here we have uh, so age 1 should be the 3 times of age 2 it will not show the reminder so how can we show the remount reminder so age 2 module age 1 it will show you the reminder so the reminder should be uh, 5 plus 1 6 here we have so this is the operators we can use the operators with the integers now i want to talk about the second data type that should be the string like i am taking my name A string always be in quotation mark that should be single quotation or double quotation doesn't matter so here i am taking my name is in string value let me check the type of name variable it is showing a string okay so how can we use uh, operators in a string like mm, I am taking my first name is equal to Ashish my last name equal to Gupta okay I just want to concatenate of my first and last name full name equals to first name plus last name let me check the full name value okay so i have added both value my first name and last name but there is no space in between my first and last name so let me just add some space here full name equals to first name plus double quotation 
space double quotation plus last name now let me check the value of full name here we have a space in between first and last name so now let's move on some slicing of strings let me show you random name equals to ashish blah 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 now i just want to slice this string i just want my name on my screen i don't want blah 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 so how can we slice the string random name square bracket and close the square bracket in this square bracket we just want to check the value of fifth position here we have a h value on fifth position let me check 1 2 3 4 5 6 but h is on sixth position as per our counting but python starts our counting from zero let me show you here we have a random name and we need to check the value of zero it is showing the character a because it is starting from zero so uh, now i just want my name on screen so here we have random name square bracket zero is the start position we have a colon and here we have a last position so it is showing my name but i take character from 0 to 6 let me check the count 0 1 2 3 4 sorry 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so 6 should be space but it is showing only my name it is not showing the space so what does it mean of the last character here so let me tell you what does it mean of six character so zero is the start position and we have a last position is uh, the end character plus one let me show you here we have a random name a square bracket I am taking the value of 0 this is the start position and now I am taking the 7th character 7th character should be B but it will show you my name plus space because the last character indicates that this is the end position plus 1 here we have space with my name so uh, that's all guys uh, this is the only with we have an integer and a string in the database in the data types so uh, now in our next video we will move on list dictionaries and tuples thank you so much guys uh, please like my video and subscribe my channel thank you so much